Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a digital remount of a case and I'm going to uh, basically um, show you how I take my original design which I've merged for a monolithic try-in and then from there the doctor tries in the denture and what I've done here is in the add and remove mesh tool I've added this as a generic visualization mesh and, uh, and uh, locked it into some uh, landmarks which have not been uh, disturbed. Uh, so normally like eye cuspids, like the facials of them normally don't get touched. I'm gonna go to perform alignment, match exclude selecting parts. I'm gonna select the radius of right around where the teeth are and then uh, press best fit matching. What that does is it's going to basically snap um, the scan of the of the monolithic trines in place and then show us the difference of where the tissue is in relation to this because what the doctor's done is on the maxillary done a wash and on the mandible we have a locator style denture that's actually just opened up uh, a little bit more so I'm gonna actually mimic those openings in the final and basically what we'll do is uh, show you how we uh, get a final file from this monolithic denture so what we're going to do is just close out of this and then first isolate the tissue surface mesh because we do not need this lower besides getting this lower into place so we're gonna go ahead and do that by selecting the file here once again trying to select I like points Match exclude selecting parts. We'll increase the radius, go mark automatic, and then we'll go best fit matching. I added a little point over here because you really want to stabilize it around the arch. That'll, that'll ensure that it's in the right place. So now what we'll see is we'll see the jaw scan and more importantly, the virtual wax at bottom in a different place. So what we'll do from there is just replace the virtual wax at bottom and get rid of this. So this is kind of a different style of designing for sure. But what I feel it utilizes is it utilizes, and now we're gonna put the virtual wax at bottom in the right spot. So now what do we know? We know that this is all in the same position. We need to utilize the new tissue here. Um, the tissue of the lower is good, but now the uh, positioning between this gray scan, the try and scan, and then this jaw scan and virtual wax up bottom are in the correct position. So what we'll do now, actually I do want to move the, I'm going to just go ahead and move the jaw scan just so we do have it in the right place. There you go. Jaw scan's in the right place, virtual wax up bottom is in the right place. Now. Um, the doctor has a few notes. More overjet on the posterior right side increased by a millimeter. Patient was biting uh, cheek. More overjet on the posterior right side increased. Uh, I'm saying it's too anatomic. Yeah, that makes sense. Posterior. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll give it more room over there. And uh, the reason uh, the positioning is like this is not because I designed it like this. This is what it looked like in the patient's mouth because we're mimicking the trying now. Okay, now to increase the length of maxillary incisors by one and a half millimeters, decrease the length of the man uh, the, man the mandibular by one and a half. We've also gone ahead and uh, align or brought in the brought in the, the picture, reduce eight and nine over jet overall. So. Basically saying, oh, just yeah, bring these in, you know, so they fall into the arch for more. Yeah, I could definitely do that. And increase 10. Yeah, definitely, I see. Increase 10. Um, okay. Intact. Uh, so we're also going to add a posterior parallel seal. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get a good file of the upper intaglio surface. So we can do that by basically isolating this one here and we'll do that by cropping this and we're going to isolate just the surface oops isolate just the surface okay. okay all right okay cool so now we have the surface get rid of anything we don't want okay and invert this and now what we'll do is we'll save this out with that we're going to save this out with the other one save. okay we're going to save these two out 
as one file for file. Wow, what a name. Anyways, now we're going to press cancel. Now when we go to here, what we're going to do is go to extra jaw scan, upper, turn this off, and we're going to align the two pieces of data so that they match 100%. Since we're carrying the other piece of data with this, we're probably gonna need to press the middle of the piece of data. Perfect, there we go. Now we know we're good. And that, that surface is there, so we're gonna replace the whole jaw scan. And now we have a double piece of data for this. What we'll do is we'll actually get rid of the old one and then use the new one. So see, there's the old, and then now there's the new and it needs to look exactly like that one. So now we know the jaw skin's in the same exact position. Pretty cool trick. Took me a while to figure that one out. But that's just because I'm not that smart. Anyways, we'll do it now. Let's just clean these up. Oh man, that is really ugly. I would have never done that. It's funny. I'm really paying a lot of attention to borders. Exocat does not like bad borders. Wait, I already have a virtual wax up for this one, so why am I even playing with that? I should just do this one. I gotta recreate the virtual wax up bottom for this. Okay. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll delete this. Do a vir new virtual wax up bottom. This should reposition the tissue in the right spot in relation to our teeth now. Because why? This is the holy grail. This is what we're making our denture to from the doc our doctor's uh, directions. So now we can just make those changes as far as what she said, and we'll go here. Why did I let that happen to that tooth? Must have. And sometimes I do that when it's a base plate. I don't really, uh, really take too much care to that, but looks like the doctor did a really nice base plate in this situation. Probably should listen. I'm gonna need to delete, but I also need to move these teeth into the right place. Can always just do that. It's kind of an annoying way to do it, but teeth are in the wrong spot. I'm not sure how that happened, but all I know is they gotta be in the right spot. Are these in neutral spots? They are. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and match them to where they are on the record. Because if the base is and the teeth are in the same spot, then I can make the changes. But if they're not, then I cannot make the changes. Well, accurately at least. Now this is only really possible because the, uh, the try and doesn't have that many changes to it. Of course, if you need to make changes to the try and then do it, but you're probably gonna need to redesign it. But the real key to making a final that you don't have any adjustments to or that you can make adjustments to kind of from the monolithic record is this step is making sure that your base and your teeth are in the same position. Cause then you can have a CAD working file of your case. It's pretty off. I'm actually gonna see where we're at. Wait, because I changed them. That's right. Okay, anyways, this is probably close enough. So I'm gonna decrease the length of the mandibular teeth by 1.5. Mandibular anterior teeth in particular, 1.5. So what we're gonna do, do that. And then increase the uppers by 1.5. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna make them just longer. Okay, okay, yeah, that works. That's what they want. And then reduce eight and nine over jet by a millimeter. We did that. Uh, push to your right side. Needs more over jet. Push the cheek out a little bit. And then, ooh, forgot to do that. Okay, anyways. What we'll do is we'll add the posterior panel seal by engraving that into the scan date. Oh my fucking. Okay, I'll update the ginger. We work our occlusion, take out that little wear mark on the interior tooth, and then merge and save. Okay, that's pretty good. Place it. And what we'll do is we'll add the connectors so we can fill the inner proximal space, and then give them the file to try and we'll also just have to cut the occlusion, that's it. So then we'll just merge and save and we're all set. Okay, connectors, this size. Perfect. Merge and save. And that merge and save will take care of um, what's it called? It'll take care of uh, the, the tooth annotation to the tissue. This is just for another monolithic client. Now, if you wanted to do a two piece denture, you would just do my two piece denture process, which is also available on my YouTube. All right. Thanks, guys. That's it. Have a nice day. Bye.